Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. So I'm here with uh, video Excel VBA 2016 part 11. So this, this will be an example number two and I have got a lot of learnings for you today. So I'm going to also teach you uh, control structures, a uh, bit of introduction for you. So what uh, this session involves, how do you copy range within a sheet? And how do you copy from one sheet to another sheet? And the second topic I discuss here, how do you create a new sheet and then rename a new sheet? And also I have some topics on uh, how do you hide rows or columns or how do you unhide the same? And most important or interesting topic today is if else condition checking, where um, if you are bit of programming background you will know what is if else but if you are not not to worry I'll tell you in from the basics so if else condition checking multiple if else also I'll teach you in the same video so before we continue do not forget to subscribe to my channel so watch stay tuned to our channel also do watch other videos on how to make money online together we can learn and earn okay let's get this started So I am on the sheet two. Now the first learning today is copying from one cell or one range to another range. Okay. So now this is, you know, this is a cell and anything more than one cell is called a range. Now I would like to copy something here and paste it somewhere here. So in real life scenario, when you work on Excel, there are a lot of times you will need to copy and paste the same data already used. So, but you can also achieve the same using macros as well, using VBA programming. Okay, let's have a look at this. Now, let me add a button just to demonstrate this. So, oh, sorry, let me get this from the form control. And I'll name this button as just saying copy. Okay. Now, I want to copy something which is in A1 and paste in F1. I'll color this to highlight so it will be easy for you guys to watch this. Now, you need to go to Visual Basic Editor. Let's create, I'm on a new module. So you can create a new module by inserting a module. Okay. Now, let me create a sub function which says copy. This is user defined. You can give any name. So I'll name it as copy. This is the, the formula. Uh, or the syntax you need to follow range a1 dot copy space destination is equal to range f1 right that's all you have to write one single line and important thing you need to right click on this and click on assign macro assign that you can see the copy come here click on copy and say okay now whatever I type here say so if I type uh, our channel name learn and earn and click on copy you could see the same item copied from a1 to f1 similarly you can also copy a range of values from one cell to one range to another range say i will copy from a1 to a3 and paste in f1 to f3 so i have to slightly modify this code so a1 to a3 that's it and when i run this say so it click it copies from a1 uh, from A1 to A3 to F1 to F3. Okay, that is from within the sheet. Now, if you want the same thing to be uh, copied to another sheet, say for example, sheet 3, we can also do that. Let me show you how do we do. I would like uh, everything in A1 to A3 to be copied to sheet 3, uh, E1 to A3. Okay, now all I have to do again, slightly modify the code. I just need to include the sheet name something like this i've already got the code ready so we don't waste much time in it okay so your current sheet name where you are in dot range a1 to a3 and copy destination sheet 3 dot range e1 okay and when we click on the button copy and it has been copied and when i come to sheet 3 we can see them here okay so it was empty but now it is being copied now let's move on that, that's all you need to know under this copy and pasting these values coming on to the next 
combination sheets creating a work sheet now we have three sheets if i want to create one more sheet using macro you all you have to do just click on uh, write one simple code along with one simple code that's called sheets.add sheets.add is a method used to add a new sheet okay let me use a uh, use another button to try make this work i'll use it here say new okay right click and let me get this uh, in a new subject sub new okay and that is sheets dot add now i have to right click on it assign macro and you see new sheet say okay now you could see only three sheets are there when i click on new it adds up a new sheet called sheet number six uh, we already had a couple of sheets and deleted so you could see sheet number six when i again go back and click on new it adds one more sheet sheet number seven now i don't want this uh, sheets to call just sheet six or seven i want it to be called as a as some with some name we can give them a name as well that is the sheet with the new name how do we do add this line in your module in your program in sheets dot add and then type active sheet dot name is equal to give you a name so anything of the name of the sheet let us say i'll mention our channel name okay when i now click on this button new you will see a new sheet created with learn and earn okay that is how you create a sheet and then you uh, rename the sheet okay moving down to the third topic how do we uh, hide or how do we unhide uh, rows or columns okay so now i am on sheet two i would like to unhide so i would like to hide something between give me one moment yeah i would like to hide everything between uh, 10 to 7 and unhide the same in the first one i'll do hiding another one i'll show you how to unhide it okay i guess i have created uh, two buttons ones for hiding another one for unhiding and the macros again simple single line rows from where to where dot hidden true when you say true it will be hidden when you say false it will be unhidden simple like this click on hide to hide from 10 to 17 you could see this line the color disappeared when i click on unhide again you could see those unhidden you can also hide and unhide using uh, columns as well just replace rows with columns and then the numbers of the rows with the column head a b c d e f okay now coming on to the uh, interesting topic if else condition checking now look at this example so enter your salary monthly salary if a user enters less than 15000 this and when clicks on submit this comes back with an error saying your salary is under 15000 and ineligible to apply for credit card and if he enters more than 16000 uh, more than 15000 it says congrats you are eligible so this is actually done with the help of uh, if else condition checking so look at this code the salary i'm using the small function called salary so if a cell value sells one comma two which is b1 okay if this is less than fifteen thousand, then a message box pops up with this information and if otherwise l stands for otherwise if it is greater than fifteen thousand, then another message says congrats you are eligible very simplest program if this is less than this then system will execute this message box if the cell value more than this then system will execute this message box you may also uh, add some other uh, combination like some other statements here i'm just throwing a message using message box if you would like to uh, hide a sheet or uh, add a new sheet or hide a column 
or rename column or anything you want to do you can do it within this block okay remember uh, if works in this way if this condition satisfies satisfies means when the cell value becomes less than the given value this can be this value can be anything i may say even 10000 or you may i may even say something else okay now if this satisfies system will only execute this line and will not come to the else part if in case this does not satisfy then system will not even touch this directly jumps on to else part and execute this set of statements okay if if there is another uh, line another line of statements below everything will be executed whichever between else and end if this section okay so work this out on your excel and try if you can uh, you can also check with equals is equal to symbol you you, are, you have multiple it's like this is to compare if both are equal then also you can compare less than greater than in between there are multiple symbols available so do some research on google and get those concepts on your on your hand uh, try working out these programs in the beginning it may take some time for you to get adjusted with this programming concept if you are totally no wise but yeah uh, slowly you should be all right to pick it up and then continue from there okay all the best happy learning and please do share this video and the channel information with your friends on your facebook wall or on whatsapp and let everybody learn together and also we can earn together so happy learning all is well see you